a wiener. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the casting couch. Shooting a couple of pornos. Can I say that? Yeah, dude. It's fine. Okay. I don't know. YouTube's crazy. Anyways, welcome back to another video that's probably going to be shitty, but I have a lot of shit that I want to unbox. And I want to start with something completely unrelated to skateboarding, but it's dear to my heart. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to know what the fuck this is. So, last week, we got some stimulus money, and I figured there was literally nothing better to spend my stimulus on than what I have in this box. Some of you guys might agree. Some of you might not agree. It doesn't matter, though. Because it's my money I do what I want. But, let me into this. Dude, this is fucking tight. Both sides the front. Do the back first. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, if you've shit. seen the Chucky movie, the original one, then you fucking know what this is. This is fucking tight. I hope the God he comes alive. <laughs> oh, dude, you wild. Fuck it, I'll, I'll fight this dude tonight. I don't give a fuck. Look how small he is. I beat this dude's ass. Oh, this is fucking tight. $89 of government money. Bought me this puppy right here. <laughs> Fuck it, I had free money, why not? I could have bought um, some cool shoes or some food to sustain myself, but fuck all that. Bro, this thing is fucking tight. Alright, I'm gonna open it up. I figured this thing would be like sealed, but I guess not. It's nice doing you, man. Yeah. We had a good run. Oh shit. I'm gonna beat this dude's ass first thing. I wonder if there's a knife in there. No, I don't think, I don't, I don't know. He has this nifty fucking clear headband for no fucking reason. All right, I wonder if I can pick him straight up. Oh yeah. Fucking hell yeah, boy. Look at them kicks though. Solid plastic, really good, durable. No bulge. Lack in the downstairs department. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. He's probably gonna murder me in my sleep for saying that. Dude, straight up. I fucking hope so. That's fucking. I'm not gonna take him out of the package. I'm keeping him in the box forever. Just hold him with those little twist tie things, but fuck that. If anything, that'll keep him from being able to murder me. All right, let's put that aside. Let's get to some real shit. Some skateboard stuff. What you guys are here to see. Excuse you, little puppy. So, Board Paradise. Pretty sure I did not order this from that website. But, I've seen a few of these popping up. I already got one, but I figured why not grab an extra one. Another red, oh, Muska. This is Chad Muska, one of the greatest skateboarders ever, aside from Brandon. Oh, dude, thanks, man. I'll try. He's pretty good. But, yes, green top stain. I had to get this, dude. Like I said before, this one wasn't like the iconic graphic to me. I prefer the Rising Suns over all of these silhouettes, but you can't not like the silhouette graphic being a skateboarder. You just see it everywhere. Next. Here we go. We have... So I have the white colorway of these, white and blue. I missed the black ones because at the time I didn't want to spend any money. But now, I finally was able to secure them for regular price. The DC Williams Rocket One collaboration. In all its glory. I still fucking think that box is sick. right here for you, Brandon. Oh, icy soles. Dude. Literally, like, the best feature of any shoe ever is a clear sole. Sticky. Feel that. Yeah, dude, that's nice. Like, what's, what's in the sole, though? It's a uh, Rocket 1 tag. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, this one's 
It's kind of hard to see. This but... one's DC. Yeah. It's hard to see it, but there's a tag inside the sole. Nice little touch. Hey, you'll shut up. Jesus. Oh, come on. All right. Back to the show. The Williams One. Williams One. The Williams Rocket One collaboration shoe with its weird sock liner. First time I've seen a sock liner go around the tongue. Normally, tongues on the outside. Extra laces. A nice touch you don't see too often with mini skate shoes nowadays. Besides action, they're fucking killing it. But dude, I, this is my favorite feature right here. This little fucking, like, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, what's up? Are you recording? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Why? I'll get one, hold on. I got it. Alright. Sorry for that. Look at that logo. That bitch is sick. Yeah, dude. Alright, enough of that. I have one more thing that I want to open, which is something I've been looking for forever. And finally found it. I'll go ahead and tell you what it is. It is the Converse Channy Original Pro Model Shoe in the colorway that I had as a little lad. But this pair is a little small. Original box, everything. Damn, dude. Yeah, it's fucking a pair. These are from like 99. But I got my pair in 2001, I wanna say. I stole them fair and square from a retail store. They didn't have them locked up, so that's their loss. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking, look at this dumb shit. eBay authenticated. Who gives a shit? I don't know why they do that. Now I gotta take that off. Hope that's not a fucking alarm. Dude, look at this. Fucking little air pocket right there. Oh, this thing is tight. Let me put this one up since it's got that dumb thing on there. Like all of my Converse shoe boxes, this one's falling apart. I'll like retape that or something. Anyways, this hideous monstrosity that I love so much. Kind of like Brandon. Oh, I couldn't yeah, do it. That's false. I couldn't do a Brandon's mom joke there. I wanted to, but that's rude. Dude, this is fucking tight. Look how tech this shit is. Like hard ass fucking plastic right there. I don't know why. Protect your ankles. But like my favorite feature was this being rubber was fucking tight. Like, that's just, I don't know, it's dope how they incorporated yeah. the logo into being like skate protection. But dude, the large fucking open mesh, I was a sucker for. So I saw these in, uh, you might not know about it, but there's, there's a retail store that some of you guys might not know about because I think it's just like regional shit, but there's a Hudson's Dirt Cheap is what it's called. And so it was just a company that bought out like stock from stores that were closing and whatnot and bullshit like that. And there was one in like walking distance from me growing up in like 2000, 2001. So I went there one day and I saw somebody had, like they always have new shit, not used. And I saw a random pair of shoes that were like old and beat up. And I was like, why the fuck they have those in here? And then it like clicked. I was like, oh fuck, somebody legit just took their shoes off, put on the new ones and walked out. I should do that. And so <laughs> me and my buddy walked all the way back home. I got like my most fucked up, fucking pair of skate shoes that I had that were like fucking soles were gone, all annihilated. And walked back and I saw these in there and I didn't know these were a fucking skate shoe. Honestly, I thought this was just like a random ass Converse shoe and I was like, fuck, it looks skatable, fuck it, I'll get this. Cause they didn't have any skate shoes, but they did, you know, but anyways. So I slid these puppies on, walked right out the front door, went home, skated this shoe, absolutely fucking loved it. But then I don't remember like what the fuck happened after that point. Like all I remember is stealing them and skating them for the first day. And then my mind's blank after that. But I've been looking for this shoe since like I started collecting in 2015. And now I finally have it. Granted it's small as fuck and I can't wear it. But that's also good because now if I come across a pair that's my size, Brandon, 
I can wear that shit. Hell yeah, dude. And I'll just keep an eye out too. Look like a fucking toddler running around because he's a pretty <laughs> fucking like bulky toddler with his shoes. But I think they're fucking tight. Will I be slaying puss in these? Probably not. <laughs> I already have a girlfriend. She'll just have to put up with it. But, dude, this is that fucking dope. I don't give a shit. Look at that fucking shoe. Yeah, they're pretty cool. It's a like, fucking, like the whole, like this thing's pretty, pretty yeah, weird it's too. Yeah, it's a sock liner for a tongue, which was like unheard of to me back then. But, dude, fucking Channy, you're not watching this, but I'll probably send you a link to it unless you see it anyways. This shoe is fucking tight. Talk to Converse. Get them to reissue this shit. The white blue colorway was fucking dope as fuck Ooh. too. Yeah, they look way better Stop than this colorway, it. but this one, you know, I have to get this one because the one I had. But like, look at the, like this. I don't know what that is. It's like mesh over the sole. It's fucking tight. This shoe is awesome. What do you think? Think it's ugly? It's pretty ugly, ain't it? Be I'm honest. Say. Yeah, it's <laughs> ugly. She thinks it's ugly. I agree, but it's like so ugly that it's cute to me. <laughs> that's what my mom used to say to me all the time growing up. Oh shit, dude. All right, that's a wrap for this video. Y'all got to watch me unbox <laughs> a fucking Chucky doll that I probably shouldn't even buy because then I'm gonna get murdered and everybody in my family's getting taken down with me. Yes, my wieners. Yes, yes. Yes, but dude, yes, one of the greatest shoes ever. Also, one of the ugliest shoes ever. Don't agree with me on that, damn it. <laughs> All right, that's a fucking wrap. Uh, thank y'all for yeah. watching, man. Watching yeah, me unbox dude. random shit and skate shoes and whatnot, other bullshit. Let's go, boys. Yeah, I gotta put to, this on the wall. We need to get the whole collection over here, man. Soon. I actually. Bought a new house that I'm in right now that's kind of in the works of getting remodeled. But I got to bring all my skate shit over here and set up my room. And I plan to do it like a skate shop. But it's hard figuring out how I'm going to do that because I have so much fucking shit. Like Chucky dolls that I'm going to put in there that don't belong in there, but they're going to go in there anyways. But we'll have that. We'll probably document some of that. We'll document some of the moving. You guys can watch me move all my shit. Watch me find shit I didn't know I had because there are shoes at the bottom of my stack that I haven't looked at in like three years. Look at all that. That should be fun. Dude, hell yeah. Gonna be a lot of videos yeah, probably. You can't even see those shoes. Yeah. I can't take them out. There's like nah. a fucking TV stand in front of them and all sorts of shit. Yeah. Anyways, that's a wrap for this video. Thank y'all for oh, watching. Yeah. And watching my wieners wrestle. You'll see that in the video probably. Get Cletus in there too. That's my boy right there. He's a pro. That's, you're just looking right at the chair. Nah, dude, it's all you got. Alright, anyways, peace out, guys. Thank y'all. Like and comment, subscribe, all the good shit. See y'all next time, man. Yes. Board. Um, it was like the first real skateboard I ever saw. My friend had it and he was like, I'll sell it to you for 40 bucks. And I was like, fuck, for real? But I was poor as fuck. And uh, so I asked my dad, I was like, Dad, can I get the skateboard? It's 40 bucks. It's like a $150 board. He was like, yeah, sure. And my dad was a shit bag. Still is. And uh, so he was like, yeah, you can get it. And I was like telling all my friends, like, I'm getting a new fucking skateboard. It's going to be sick. And then uh, so like weeks go on. And my dad's like, next week, next paycheck, next paycheck. So I never fucking get it. And I found like pretty much the exact fucking same thing on eBay. Like back in like 2011 or something. And I'm like telling Brandon the fucking extended version of a story that's way more fucking sentimental and like heartfelt and shit. I'm dead. And I'm fucking telling him this as I'm like fucking rummaging through shit and Brandon's behind me. And like I turn around I this long. piece of shit's holding a lighter to my skateboard fucking burning it. <laughs> I do not remember this at all. I do because it fucking sucked. I remember. <laughs> like piece of shit. <laughs> that's just... Back then, Brandon was like, I don't know, what the fuck? His mom spoiled him or something. He didn't give a shit about nothing. He would like just tear shit up, tear shit up. But I legit turned around and he was like, he was like this with a fucking lighter. He's just like, <laughs> like not even thinking about shit. Just like, he's like zoned out, just burning the fuck out of it. I still have that board. It's probably still got the fucking burn mark on it. Dude, too. I'm going to have to see it because I don't believe it. Yeah.
I probably rubbed it off because I really like that board and like you wouldn't have heard it. Man, classic Brian now. That's fucked up. Yeah, he's better <laughs> now. He's better now. He was in a dark place. Clearly. Not yeah. anymore, that's for sure. Yeah. You have a hole in your hat? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, the tip? Yeah, those always fucking blow out. Especially with Brian's fat head. 